Hi there, Chris here with just a tip for you guys. In our continuing look at Turbo Dork paints, I am going to apply 3D glasses. This is a color shift paint. Uh, it doesn't really quite show up on camera here, but uh, I think you guys all realize that by now. Anywho, and the label is the older one. It's their first uh, first edition, as it were. And of course, uh, I also have a little spoon here as my analog uh, surface. And of course, it was given a base or a prime of gloss black from Stano Res. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this by brush. Now, one thing I will mention is, of course, when applying uh, paints by brush, especially with this metallic, uh, we do have to apply in several layers just to get really good coverage. Uh, it's not really not a fault of the metallic line. It's just the nature of this particular type of paint that has this color shifting properties. They often have a very uh, translucent kind of surface and they do rely on this black uh, priming surface. Uh, a lot of the black they need, like a lot of metallic surfaces, uh, you just require a lot of uh, the black underneath or dark deep tone underneath. But anywho, I'm not going to be using any kind of smaller brush like this, but if you're doing like say a space green shoulder pad or something like that, then obviously this kind of brush is ideal. This is a basically a number one brush. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a size appropriate brush here. I'm just going to quickly use one of these ones. Here's a one inch brush just because of the larger surface of the spoon. Uh, not that the spoon is uh, some sort of huge spoon or anything like that. And uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this with no mediums, no water. Uh, again, these paints are designed to flow right through the airbrush. So these are already very thin property, uh, th thin body paints. We are just gonna get right to it. Now, if you struggle to lay a smooth base coat down on a model surface, then you are gonna struggle using this and uh, you're just not gonna be happy with uh, life. Uh, but basically when you're laying a base coat down, uh, you alternate the brush strokes so that you get a nice even coverage. So basically if I lay one layer down, it's going to go this way. And if I lay another layer down, it's going this way and vice and just alternating like that between each layer. And that'll ensure that you get a nice smooth, even coverage. Now with this stuff, you kind of don't want to lay too many layers down. Uh, I find that around five layers is usually good enough for the effect. Otherwise I just apply by airbrush, but when applying by brush, um, yeah, it's about five layers. Now here, I'm just going to grab just this little dollop of paint and we're going to begin applying it here. Trying to keep my brush strokes nice and even. There's already a bit of paint on here just from other surfaces, but otherwise that is it. We'll let that dry and we'll apply more layers and I'll just quickly speed through it, but I'm gonna apply probably about four, maybe five layers, just to give you guys an idea on how, to, how it's gonna apply, how it's gonna lay down, uh, and of course, uh, but I mean, anytime you're laying metallics down by hand, uh, usually opaque colors, uh, you don't often don't see the brush strokes, but with these kind of colors, because what really, um, what is going on with these color shift paints is that they refract light all over the place, and so they will really show up the brush. You can see just one by one brush, you can see how very noticeable the brush strokes are, and that's just, a, that's just gonna be a quality of these paints. But as you'll see, as I lay more layers down, it does camouflage it a bit, but it's not, you know, super ideal, but we do what we can. Okay, so you can see after all those layers, you can see how we have, you know, a pretty decent metallic finish. Of course, it, it, like on the camera here, you can really kind of see the alternating brush strokes. Uh, that's unfortunately just the nature of, of this process. Uh, you're not gonna get as smooth as say, for example, airbrushed, where you, you get a much more uniform finish to these uh, paints. Usually metallics, of course, will show these kinds of things just because there's so much light bouncing back versus an opaque color where you can pretty much build it up to whatever kind of, um, you know, opacity you like. Whereas metallics here, you're gonna get, uh, you know, these, uh, and of course with these color shift uh, paints that they refract different uh, wavelengths of light back at you. This is kind of a blue green and a, and a purple. You can kind of see the purple shining back along the bottom there. And, but I mean, you can see here how we have the properties that we want. Of course on smaller, to the eye, this looks just fine. 
Uh, if I hit this with a gloss coat, in fact, it probably would improve the overall finish. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna hit this with a gloss coat. I'm gonna do it with an airbrush, uh, but if you were using a spray gloss coat or what have you, uh, I'm sure it will you'll give, yield a similar result. As you can see here, after the gloss coat, it does look a lot better. Uh, in person, it, um, it just, it's looking very nice. Um, again, is it as great as laying it down by airbrush? Uh, not quite, but you know what? Uh, this is a large surface. This is a spoon. I mean, if you were doing tanks or anything like that, uh, you might, you know, want to lay down more layers. Uh, again, you can see, I, I really didn't use all that much paint uh, layering this onto the surface but ultimately um you know really i mean like this stuff was designed mainly for the airbrush so again that's just a bit of a um a bit of a, a warning for all you guys out there um but i mean you can lay this down and it will look just fine again this is a larger surface if this was like a small little shoulder pad or anything like that small details uh you would be just fine with about four or five layers but you will have to lay quite a few layers down but that is it that is laying down turbo door color shift paints by brush thanks for watching like subscribe and all that other youtube goodness and i will see you guys in the next video